I've been documenting my mining farm build out here on the tube. One of the top questions I get is what is the best miner to buy? So today I'm gonna to share with you all of our internal research of many different miner models at many different price points that should fit any budget. In particular, we're going to look at some small scale cheap miners, mini mining rigs, right? That are easy to run at home and profitable. How do we define profitable? It earns more than it burns in electricity. Pretty simple and some of these are actually kind to cash cows so the prices we're looking at for minor categories right five hundred one thousand dollars two thousand five hundred five thousand dollars and then ten thousand dollars so we're going to run the gambit of all the different little custom computers that can earn you passive income if you've ever wanted some robotic employees well forget 3d printers okay <laughs> Because the miners are here. Yo, my name is Vosk, and you are on the Voscoin YouTube channel. All right, the Ice River KS0 entering the $500 miner category. And oh, we beat that price some. This is, you know, brand new release. Uh, you know, real simple. This thing just came out. Um, and uh, so I'm, I'm gonna go through, we have some affiliate links, we have some discount codes, and some of these things, we don't have any of that. Uh, so I'm gonna share all these links with you in the video description below. If nothing else, I just want you to use the Voscoin coupon code to save yourself some coin, right? Obviously, if you use our link and stuff, it supports the channel. But yeah, anyway, just trying to keep it, you know, 100 with you guys. Full disclosure, uh, as always. All right, so let me just take you in here real quick. Uh, we're gonna look at this one a little bit more. All right, so I'm remotely logging in. You control these miners with a dashboard, it's real easy. By the way, if you wanna learn how to set up a miner, we just put out a one hour tutorial guide on all the basics of this. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna cover the key things of basically, can you run this on any outlet in your house? How much power does it use, right? Or do you need a dedicated 240 voltage circuit? But yeah, so we'll, we'll work through this. It's pretty easy, don't let that seem daunting or something like that. Uh, this thing is consistently hashing above of the 200 uh, mark. So this thing is seeming to be about 5% more effective uh, than advertised over long-term performance. Um, so you need to buy the power supply with this. Uh, once you add on shipping, this is basically 500 bucks and you get 5% off with code BossCoin if you grab this miner. How much does it earn, right? We can dig into profitability. I'm gonna try to not you know, waste too much time on that. Every miner here, uh, in my opinion, is a good buy. I'm either buying them or I have them or I've received them here on the channel and I've been impressed with them. So this is real time mining data. Uh, statistically, this thing should be making around four to five dollars a day. Uh, this number is rapidly changing, uh, but my KS0 Pro is making four dollars and thirty cents a day right now. Um, and I've been looking at this just numerous times. We'll refresh; it'll be different. So now it's saying it's making four seventy-two. Earlier it said six bucks. It said five bucks. But yeah, the bottom line with this one is it's small, it's quiet, it's cheap. The actual case does run pretty hot. I'd recommend putting it on some kind of metal shelf. Otherwise, you can just slap a 120 millimeter fan on it or something like that. Uh, but uh, they have specifically stated that it's more than safe to run that way. I don't bother running a fan on it because it runs fine enough as is for me. This is mining Caspa, the KAS cryptocurrency. It is the second most profitable coin to mine after Bitcoin, but we'll get more into that later. The next miner that I want to look at is going to be the Bitax Ultra. So basically they're taking big ASIC miner chips and putting them on a little guy. Uh, so an ASIC miner is a custom computer. Or it's really like full of ASIC chips, big hash boards, circuit boards. This is a pretty cool project, the labor of love. They're putting, uh, you know, they're making these super efficient little, basically tiny mini uh, Bitcoin miners. Uh, this is going to make, make you like essentially nothing. Uh, this is more of a hobbyist kind of thing. Uh, it's uh, a very cool gift. Uh, it's kind of like a lottery miner, if you will. It's very cool what they're doing. And, you know, simply put, you know, it's just kind of notable. I talked a lot about hard drive mining. I even have... Uh, push so hard into the hard drive mining sector. I basically built my own hard drive mining shed with HVAC and all that stuff. It's, it's been fun. It's been crazy. Uh, but they have a starter kit. I mean, this is going to be something that earns a couple bucks a month. This is uh, not a cash cow miner. Uh, where we look at like the Ice River KS0 earlier, it makes you know several bucks a day right now. Uh, a lot of factors at play, but this utilizes multi-purpose hardware. Uh, this uses right hard drives. 
um, and it's inside of this and the top is basically a customized Raspberry Pi or a Rock Pi uh, that they use to run this. They've got a good app. We've talked about it a lot before. It's a very interesting like intro to mining and, and understand at a $500 price point, you're basically entering like an intro to mining. Uh, Juicy Miners, a similar concept with their own version of it, right? It's a, it's a plug and play hard drive miner. They've got a 20 terabyte version or TBE, it's a basically effective terabyte on, on Chia farming or mining. Uh, so we can see that I've got a rig on here. It's one of the more expensive rigs. Uh, it, it would basically cost 10 times the price of uh, the one we're looking at, uh, but it's making you know two dollars and 20 cents or so a day. But when you hit a block, you also earn some bonus coin. Uh, this is not the most lucrative endeavor uh, compared to some of these other miners. Uh, but it is an interesting long-term play in mining and they do have entry-level options and that's what we're focusing on at that $500 price point. Want to get into mining but don't want to buy a miner or want to supplement your mining operation and diversify your investment portfolio? Check out Quantum Expeditions. Quantum Expeditions is building massive mining farms in multiple locations and is looking for new investors. They're building in a bear market to get ready for next bull run. They've already raised $350,000 in their seed round and plan to deploy over 100 megawatts of mining operations. They're projected to mine one Bitcoin for under $14,000. And their team is great. If you're on the Voscoin Discord or on Voscoin Talk, you might have seen Justin or Badgerland Crypto active in the community. Justin is the COO of Quantum Expeditions, which recently merged with Badgerland Crypto. To learn more about Quantum, check out the link in the video description below and thank you to Quantum for sponsoring this video. So let's push forward to the $1,000 price point. We're gonna be looking at a Bitmain amp miner, S19, 90 terahash a second. Uh, this miner is not as efficient as the latest generation of Bitcoin miners. But like, let me tell you, this is crazy. This is a mining rig that would have sold for $10,000 in the last Bitcoin bull run. So just kind of let that sink in. This is a full size ASIC miner. Look at this power supply, right? It's got these, you know, two power cables. This only runs on 240 voltage, right? Watch our electricity guide or our full miner guide uh, to get up to speed on this stuff. Uh, but you need to have a proper outlet uh, to basically run this stuff. But the bottom line is that you can get into the Bitcoin mining game for less than a thousand bucks right now. Super freaking cool and I cannot understate that. There's a lot of ways to fine tune these miners. You can make them much more efficient than their out of the box efficiency. And Altair has the best price on this miner and quick shipping, he, you know, he houses a lot of these miners in the US. So like if there's two in stock, you can order this and you'll get this in a couple of days. And we'll talk about more about, you know, international shipments and tariffs and some things to watch out for uh, towards the end of this video. In particular, I actually started dealing with Altair or Avaro and, uh, you know, the owner of this company is because of his very cool PDUs that he worked with uh, O1P on. And uh, basically uh, these are, an awesome way to just get started mining, right? You have an L630P, uh, right? L630 uh, plug. And then you've got the connection points here to fire up several miners on that circuit. You know, it's gonna be a 30 amp circuit, but when you start looking at PDUs, right? Uh, and these are like industrial grade surge protectors, uh, they can get really expensive when you're looking at these other companies like Triplight, and they've got a lot of fluff on them, stuff you don't necessarily need. Uh, so you can quite literally get into Bitcoin mining uh, other than, you know, installing the circuit. Uh, for a thousand dollars with his PDU and this miner. And I've honestly had a lot of fun fine tuning my Bitcoin miners using the Brains firmware. And I've got their new control board in. I've got some uh, competitor control boards in and some other firmware that I'm really gonna start working through. Uh, but a variation of this where you have less uh, earnings, right? You know, we're gonna be mining at about one third the speed here. We're also going to be consuming uh, much less power, you know, so it'll significantly reduce our electricity bill. Uh, but basically they are taking one third of a bigger miner, like an S19K Pro um, or an S1995 Terahash will be pretty similar to what we just talked about, right? 3D printing a box and putting a power supply on this that can work with your normal outlet on your wall. Okay, so this is something you could plug in any room, right? Oh, it's a little chilly, right? Maybe in the garage, maybe in the basement, maybe in a, a wing that's coming off your house, maybe just in general in your house, right? You grab one of these, you throw it into the wall outlet, you plug in an internet connection, okay? And now you have not only a space heater, right? But you're also mining Bitcoin. This stuff is super cool. 
um, and I love to see more grassroots mining stuff like this and it perfectly fits within that $1,000 price point because by the way, you can save some coin in their shop if you use the code BOSSCOIN. Yeah, needless to say, I'm, I'm rooting for stuff like this. Like this, I, I wanna see so much more just, you know, development on that front. This is kind of close to 1000 price point. You know, we're getting above it though. Uh, it's gonna be the starter kit plus with the evergreen miners. It's kind of like the one we talked about earlier, but right? There's more hard drives here, which basically means that it earns more coin. Uh, each hard drive you're adding here basically adds mining power, which leads to more earnings uh, and has super low power consumption. This whole kit is estimated to consume only like 30 watts of power. So let's move on to the next price point of about $2,500. We're gonna open that price point category with something a little bit lower. We're gonna be looking at the Bitmain Antminer S19K Pro. Uh, this is the best readily available Bitcoin miner right now. There are some better ones on the horizon, uh, like the S21 from Bitmain. Um, I also, I just got the Micro BT What's Miner M60S in, which blows this miner out of the water, but it's like double the price. Uh, so this is a lot of miner for the price. Uh, it's pretty good efficiency. This is a great option to get into Bitcoin mining at around this price point, right? With higher hash rate, better efficiency. Uh, it's just simply a good option right now. Bringing it back to Casper, right? This is a little bit over the $2,500 mark, 2,800 bucks before you put in the Voscoin code to save some coin, uh, which is you know, some significant savings. This thing is a cash cow. This thing's making like 20 bucks a day. Right, depending on your electricity rate, a lot of the Bitcoin miners are making like a couple bucks a day. This is making 20 bucks a day, all right, and it's very low power consumption at 600 watts, okay? So like a couple graphics cards can pull more juice than this. Uh, so to contrast that, after you pay your electric bill, with this miner right now, you're still putting probably like 18 bucks in your pocket. You can see my KS1 has been consistently earning like 20 bucks a day here, uh, parked on nice hash. It's a very profitable mining rig, but Caspa is a rapidly developing uh, my sector of mining. It's not, you know, super stable like Bitcoin mining, for example, but I'll elaborate more on that later. Uh, so it's kind of like nothing venture, nothing gain, you know, more risk, more reward. That doesn't mean that you're always just gonna get more reward. <laughs> so uh, the next option, Kind of in that category is going to be another one of these big silver boxes. It's another ASIC miner. It's another miner that needs 240 voltage. It's going to be the Bitmain Amp Miner X5. I think a lot of people are sleeping on these. Some people did have some issues with the actual miner uh, from the hardware point of view. I've only been able to get one of these in so far, uh, but mine has been absolutely fine. And it mines Monero, one of the oldest cryptocurrencies that's still mineable. Uh, and it only consumes 1,350 watts. So this is a very low power consumption miner. Uh, which there's a lot of benefits to that, like a lower electricity bill, uh, less impact on your mining profits. If you have a high electricity rate, uh, lower power means lower heat, fans don't have to work as hard, lower noise, okay? We look at the last earnings in uh, 24 hours. This thing has earned me $5.72 mining Monero XMR. And since I hooked it up, it's earned me 242 bucks. And I've had it probably a month and a half. You can see my earnings in the last 30 days, $171. Uh, this has cost me personally a couple bucks a day to run. Uh, so this is a long-term play, but Monero is supposed to be mineable forever. It's unlikely they're gonna kick these off of their mining algorithm. If you ever heard of the random X mining drama, uh, you know, CPU mining on Monero and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll see, but this is a miner that I, I think a lot of people are sleeping on. And I, I you know, the actual like mining farm operator in me didn't even want to tell you guys about this one because i want to get a lot more of these and i don't need a ton of competition on the freaking uh mining algorithm for monero here and to round out the two thousand five hundred dollar miner category you know we're leaning back to it again right we're looking at the evergreen miners uh just to reference another option they have i like their multi-tiered approach here but they have the starter kit pro this thing makes you know a couple bucks a day where we're starting to get to where we actually have like some real like some interesting earnings here uh consumes less than 100 watts you plug this in any outlet in your house has wi-fi support stuff like that um you know it's it's a good time but it's a very long-term play I understand that and that chia is having next year so the earnings will be cut in half so really the chia cryptocurrency needs to do something otherwise uh this has one of the lower rois compared to all the other miners that we've talked about here today 
And just like we have already talked about Evergreen, the Juicy Miners has multiple miners at multiple price points, you know, fitting into that $2,000 category. They have their 145 TBE version. That would be a smaller miner than the Starter Kit Pro that we just talked about. They also have the Mega 250 TBE, which is going above that price point, uh, but is a bit bigger there as well. So now let's talk about the $5,000 price point for mining rigs, okay? We're starting to get into some expensive mining rigs. We're starting to get into some latest releases, you know, high profitability mining rigs. For example, the Micro BT What's Miner M60S. I've got one of these into review. I've been really impressed with it. It's been a very good machine. Uh, for what it is, it's pretty quiet. Uh, for what it is, it's pretty efficient. For what it is, it's pretty profitable, right? You know, this thing's mining like 16 bucks a day in Bitcoin it only cost me like six, seven dollars a day to run at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. I don't have a super cheap electricity rate, so I have to be very mindful of how much these things cost to run. This thing, again, is gonna need 240 voltage, but I mean, th this is it. This is latest generation Bitcoin mining, boasting efficiency, you know, somewhere around, you know, 18 to 20 uh, watts of terahash, if you're familiar with that metric. Um, but, you know, it's expensive. Uh, it's, you know, this list price right here before any discounts is 5,000, you know, over a little bit over 5,000 bucks. You could get two of those S19K Pros we talked about earlier, right? and mine 240 terahash. You could have more Bitcoin mining power, but you'd also have double the electricity bill. And you never guessed it, we're gonna talk about another Casper Cas ASIC miner, specifically the Ice River KS2. It's just literally double the KS1 uh, that we recently talked about. You know, so it's doing double the power consumption at 1,200 watts. It's doing double the hash rate. So the KS1 is one terahash a second. One terahash a second is also equal to 1,000 gigahash a second. Uh, so this is 2,000 gigahash a second. Um, and it's not quite double the price. So you're getting some economy of scale there. Uh, this is a very profitable miner. This would be putting about 40 bucks in your pocket every day right now, either in the Caspa cryptocurrency, or you saw that I was using nice hash earlier, which pays me out in Bitcoin. You do need 240 voltage with this, with the way they use these power supplies. Uh, but it's a, it's a very profitable miner right now. Uh, but it's a, it's a volatile space because Caspa just hit a new all time high. I mean, it's up 23% in the last, uh, you know, 24 hours. Granted, even if you drop the prices I've been talking about with the Casper Miner earnings by 23%, they're still absolute cash cows. The network hash rate has been ballooning as more and more Casper miners come online. The miner manufacturers are making money hand over fist here. Uh, it's become over 60 times more difficult to mine a Casper coin since April. And Casper's actual currency uh, basically mints less coins every single month. It, it systematically reduces itself but we can see this is ticked up right here my ks1 is earning 25 dollars right now so the ks2 would be earning 50 bucks a lot of people think that casp is going nowhere if nothing else other than up we'll see it's already committing a market cap over two billion dollars it's the second most profitable coin to mine and this is a very good metric to look at and think about when you're thinking about getting into mining or diversifying your mining operation or you know whatever else we look at all these my uh, uh, cryptocurrencies and we look at the emission right uh, and these emissions are pretty static i mean check several days in a row and you'll see that they're pretty linear it's not like these coins get huge spikes in their daily emission uh due to transaction fees and things like that it, it contributes but it's it's a nominal factor so Bitcoin, I mean, leads the charge by, by a ton. But Bitcoin has a halving next year. So the amount of uh, money Bitcoin miners will earn is gonna be cut in half. But most people like myself think that Bitcoin will hit a new all-time high in the future as well. So we're not necessarily too stressed about it. Uh, but Caspo has just been on a tear. Only recently it went over $1 million a day in new mine coins. Now it's knocking on the door of 1.5. The daily mining earnings have gone up 50%, so more and more miners keep coming online, yet it still is just very profitable. And I don't want to talk too much about this when we're trying to look at these different miner models, but it's just imperative that you fully understand this picture before you get into mining, uh, because yeah, it's the best, in my opinion, uh, the most lucrative way to earn passive income in human history, uh, but it's not all butterflies and donuts that, you know, some things can go wrong. Coins can also go down in price. While I've been fortunate to stick with mining over the years, 
and do well over the years. Uh, if you think you're going to be rich tomorrow, uh, you probably won't be. It's expensive to get into this and only eventually do you reach a point where you basically pay off the machine and then you're in the green. But, you know, your mileage may vary. So with like 100 disclaimers said, we look at these other uh, coins um, and we'll talk a bit about this, but we can see Monero's up there, pretty good spot. We haven't talked about a Dogecoin Litecoin miner, which collectively is merge mined and they produce over a million dollars in new coins every single day. To put it simply, everybody knows that there's going to be a really big, new, powerful, better script ASIC miner, which is the mining algorithm for these coins released sometime soon, it's not out yet. Uh, so no one's really expanding their Dogecoin, Litecoin mining operations right now because we know a better model is on the horizon. Uh, to put it simply, it's just obvious and there's been some leaks and things like that. Another cryptocurrency is right here though, in the top five. And uh, we can see that it's Ethereum Classic, right? And so that's where we look at the $10,000 miner price point finally. Okay, this is coming in well below that. It's really like, almost like right in between uh 5000 to 10000 it's the jazz miner x16p etc miner uh this thing's very powerful and it's not that power hungry at 2000 watts it's pretty low for a miner of this size and magnitude i mean it is quite large let's not understate that a whopping hash rate of 5800 mega hash a second on etc hash mining algorithm understand that a miner can only mine a specific mining algorithm, right? Uh, I can't take this and mine Bitcoin and vice versa. So just make sure you're aware of that. We look at the voltage. We need 240 voltage to be able to operate this miner. It gets its internet connection over an ethernet cord. Uh, this is going to be a very expensive miner. And it's something that after electric bill, like for me, it's probably gonna earn like six, $7 a day at current prices and things like that. But I don't think ETC is going anywhere, whether you love it or hate it. Uh, this is, you know, latest gen tech on this uh, this mining uh, money algorithm, this coin. Uh, so this is a long term play. And this is something that I think is relatively cheap for what it is right now. And it would really pay off in a crypto bull run. Because remember, as cryptocurrency prices go up and maybe you're like, oh, well, I'll get into mining then. Well, minor prices are skyrocketing right along that. Just like the best time to buy cryptocurrencies is when they're suppressed uh, in a bear market, when the market's red. It's the exact same thing for mining rigs. Enter the next miner, yet again, another Caspa miner, another Ice River miner, the KS3M. Uh, so this thing is 6,000 giga hash. We look at the power consumption, right? It's basically three of the KS2s or six of the KS1s just jammed into one rig here. Uh, the price on this was rapidly falling almost like a thousand bucks a week uh, for a few weeks but then the cast of cryptocurrency really went on a tear shooting up in price and it has helped elevate the prices of these miners so i've been watching these sell between seven thousand dollars and ten thousand dollars just within the last week this is a very powerful very profitable miner i have one of these in my farm and it earns about 150 dollars a day right now this thing costs like seven bucks a day to operate. Uh, so, you know, depending where the prices fall, you know, we're, I'm easily clearing right now with the current prices and everything over 130 bucks a day in mining profitability on this miner. That's a lot. That's a much higher return than we compare it with the, the jazz miner that's, you know, making, you know, maybe <laughs> like seven bucks a day uh, for a, a similar miner price point, right? So if, if we're doing 120, a day right and we do that for 30 days and we could keep that up for three months we would more than break even on this machine is that going to be the case i mean geez i don't know wish i did if i knew the future well I mean, i'd probably be in a pretty good spot but i also would know like my death and stuff like that and that might be horrific and kind of hard to deal with or maybe i would then know and i would try to work around it but I don't know, it's kind of like a death nut where you can see the number on top of everyone's head, but you can't see your own. So that's all I got today, guys, on the minor roundup here, running through all these different price categories. I feel like I talk so much, uh, but there's really just so much to unpack here. And I could just rattle off these minor models real quick, but I want to arm you with the knowledge to make the best decisions that you can. I encourage you to, to build on the data and research and information I've given you today, right? And get out there and do your own research. Join the Voscoin Discord server, connect with other miners, post a thread on Voscoin Talk, our forum, and connect with other miners, right? Because I'm not here to push you into a sale. I don't care if you buy a miner. If you, you know, use our links and our discount codes and stuff, uh, possibly you support the channel. 
channel uh, means so much and I appreciate if you go out of your way and take the time to do that but I can assure you that you know I just have fun making content and building my own big mining farm I have to do all this research anyway so I mean, I don't, I, maybe I'm just not a selfish guy, right? I, I share it here. Obviously, there's benefits of running a YouTube business as well on, on top of a mining farm business. Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, skirt around that one, if you will. But, uh, I mean, that's kind of it. I keep it real like we do every day here for over seven years on the Voscoin YouTube channel. And uh, the reality is, due to a lot of different reasons, I've only been able to start building out the mining farm uh, very seriously over the last year. Uh, so that's a much newer piece of the business, even though I've been mining the whole time, been ups and downs and this and that, whatever. But you, I don't know if you care about my life story. If you do, subscribe and you can learn all about it. If you don't, well, we're ending the video right now, but not before we run 10 seconds of tails because she's the cutest doge in the world. And it would just, uh, I would just be, dishonoring your time if I didn't show you this cute pup. And if you don't like tails, then I don't like you. See you later.